Hello and welcome to today's Bitcoin price prediction video. And yes, Bitcoin is right now seeing a rejection towards the downside after a successful liquidity grab or a swing failure pattern. At 42,300 US dollars, a lot of people got stopped out at this specific area and simply, we are seeing a pull towards the downside of approximately 1.77%. But in this video, we are going to be talking about Fibonacci time that it is literally incoming for Bitcoin in the next couple of hours and also we are going to be discussing about a potential bearish pattern that might be formed in the next couple of hours if Bitcoin is actually going to see slight rotation towards the upside because if we right now go with our volume indicator on the two hour time frame I think we can all agree it looks that our volume has been going lower and lower for the past couple of days right here and because of that this is simply an indication that a significant move could be expected potential towards downside potentially also of course towards the upside but nevertheless if right now Bitcoin is going to see a bounce from the area where we are because at the moment we are definitely hitting our 50 exponential moving average on the one hour time frame and on top of that looking on our Binance chart a lot of people literally exactly at the bottom right here got simply liquidated a lot of long positions by positions got liquidated at the specific area so if for example Bitcoin does see right now a slight pull towards the upside there is a chance we are forming head and shoulders pattern maybe even in the next couple of hours right here the most important thing that i would like to mention here is going to be of course our diagonal level of support we are paying attention to for bitcoin for the past couple of days right here because for example if we then actually put in our right shoulder right here we simply also need to be aware that bitcoin does have a diagonal level of support also of course at the area of the neckline of this specific hand shoulders pattern so of course if for example we do see right shoulder put in in the next couple of hours and then a rejection towards the downside breaking diagonal level breaking our horizontal level of support towards the downside with a volume increase of course this is then going to be bearish indication and we are going to be looking for lower price targets right here on the bitcoin price later in the video i am going to show you why this specific area is an important level for Bitcoin to actually hold but of course more about that slightly later right now I would like to show you that Bitcoin does have Fibonacci time incoming literally in the next couple of hours because this Fibonacci time is going to come in on 22nd of March literally approximately in the midnight and because of that I would simply say at this specific time we could be expecting if Bitcoin is still going to be trading at this specific area a rejection towards the downside why do I think so because looking at our previous examples what we are going to see 3.618 Fibonacci time Bitcoin hit the resistance level and we got a rejection towards the downside 3 to 1 Fibonacci time Bitcoin hit the resistance level we got a rejection towards the downside our 2.618 Fibonacci time level Bitcoin hit the resistance level we got a rejection towards the downside so in my opinion if we are still going to be trading at this specific area for the next couple of days let's say or I would say no for the next couple of hours right here and we are then going to be hitting our Fibonacci time all we can say we are at the level of resistance higher probability we do see a rotation towards the downside on the Bitcoin price now my preferred uh, trading idea that I would like to see on Bitcoin to be formed maybe in the next couple of hours is simply going to be go up do not confirm head and shoulders pattern break through our previous high that being said uh, we are going to see potential liquidity grab above the high we are hitting our Fibonacci time level right here which of course if we are trading at the level of resistance and if we are uh, um, hitting our Fibonacci time bearish indication and then of course we could potentially be expecting maybe even a pull towards downside on the Bitcoin price on the one hour time frame we can also see that one could say we are right now confirming or actually trading in in some kind of an ascending channel so if we right now say that this right here is an ascending channel of course we still do have higher probability of breaking this one towards the downside but of course for this break to be confirmed we simply first of all actually need to go to our diagonal level support and of course see a breakdown of course with a volume increase right here but before we talk about brand new weekly high term time frame level being formed on the Bitcoin price. If you haven't already, please smash up the like button right now because the goal for this video would actually be to reach at least 500 likes. And thank you very much if you're right now actually smashed the like button.
let me write and show you what potentially could be confirmed on the weekly if our weekly candle is going to be closed something like that if we go right now with our high term time frame levels of course we are going to see that we are going to if we close the weekly candle like that confirm brand new weekly high term time frame level and what we are going to do right now we can see this is going to be our daily we are simply going to change our daily to our weekly and of course if we say right now which one is more important in my opinion weekly is definitely more important because it is going to be on a higher term time frame also on the daily time frame there could also be brand new daily level forming in the next couple of hours in the next 13 hours and because that we are going to move our old daily above this area 42,200 and what you can see right now if for example bitcoin is actually still going to be trading at this specific area for the next couple of hours we have our fresh daily level right here break the daily slightly do see a deviation from our daily break our previous high Feed, uh, hit the our Fibonacci time level which is incoming literally in the next couple of hours right here and then potentially do see a rejection towards the downside in my opinion this is actually going to be one of the highest probability short positions that we are seeing right now on the Bitcoin price of course one could say looking at our weekly time frame closing our weekly candle like that of course would be uh, bullish because the count body is definitely very very big nevertheless if we are going to close our weekly candle like that as we said before we are going to confirm brand new weekly high term time frame level of support right here one more thing if we go right now with our binance or maybe even on the buy chart doesn't really matter we can see slight bullish divergence being formed on the 30 minute on the 15 minute time frame why because if we go right now with a trend line i think you're going to agree with me we are still forming a slightly higher low on the bitcoin price but on the cvd indicator we are definitely forming a slight lower low right here what does that mean more people are market shorting bitcoin at the area where we are at the moment we are still forming a higher low right here bullish divergence a bigger player is absorbing the sell pressure we are seeing right now from those market shorts which of course it is going to be bullish indication so personally what i would like to see right now is simply yeah maybe we are going to break through our previous low i'm going to show you why the break of our previous low would be a very important thing but nevertheless personally i would prefer at least slight pull towards the upside potentially forming this uh, lower high right here for the hand shorts pattern or maybe even higher break through those previous highs right here and then of course potentially do see a pull towards the downside on the bitcoin price before we talk about why this area of support for bitcoin is an important level and before we talk about our indicators if you would like to trade bitcoin and ethereum with us there are insane free bonuses to be had on bybit up to 600 but on delta exchange right now up to 30 000 us dollars for free in trading bonus sign up with this specific link after initial deposit you get a bonus you can trade with a bonus and of course we draw the profits to your own wallet all of the free major bonuses are available for you for free down below in the description let me write and show you why this specific area is an important key level for bitcoin that simply we need to pay attention to because of course we can simply say if bitcoin is right now trading in our horizontal range we can definitely say that our bottom of the range is going to be at this area 41,500, 41,400 us dollars aligning of course also with our previous high so this right here is a local level of support because our previous lows are right here people are setting stop losses below the low it is liquidity zone approximately at this area and of course as we said before this is going to be an area of our 50 exponential moving average on the one hourly time frame so i would simply say like that if we are potentially interested longing bitcoin day trade long scope position long i would still say if we do see candle close above our previous low right here if we see liquidations kicking in right here if we see people getting stopped out at the bottom right here i would still potentially be looking for swing not swing but day trades and also scope long positions at this specific area the moment we start losing this specific horizontal level of support of course most probably then we are also going to start losing our diagonal level of support because both of those levels are actually very very close together so because of that the moment we start breaking diagonal level of course i would personally flip a little more bearish especially if it happens with once again volume increase now going with our indicators right here with our cluster for example on the four hourly we are curving towards the downside literally right now we are not forming bearish divergence right here but nevertheless it is going to be curvature towards downside we are at the overbought area so this right here 
is bearish indication if you ask me but nevertheless as we also said yesterday if the price action at the moment is still looking bullish in my opinion there is not really any major reasons why we should be getting bearish despite seeing this bearish indication on our four hour time frame with this Mudex stochastic rsi on top of that if we go right now with our MACD indicator we are going to go uh, with this one right here on the one hour time frame one could even say higher low on bitcoin lower low on our MACD hidden bullish divergence so you can see that a lot of different indicators are giving us right now different signals but all i would say right now to you is that in my opinion there is not any major reasons why we should be extremely bearish on bitcoin because once again we still are forming higher highs and higher lows market structure at the moment it's still looking bullish on top of that we are still trading above our diagonal level of support we can simply be more bearish if we are going to start losing our diagonal level of support or once again if there is going to be potential liquidity grab above our previous high so Oh, of course, all I would say, in my opinion, only two options that potentially could occur on Bitcoin start losing diagonal level. And of course, we are already going to be looking for lower targets on Bitcoin. Or on the other hand, of course, that being said, this is then going to be our hand shorts pattern that I would be looking for. Or, of course, go up and then potentially on the Fibonacci time, potentially do see a rejection towards the downside right here on the Bitcoin price. And if you haven't already right now, please smash up the like button as hard as you can because the goal for this video would be to reach at least 500 likes. Subscribe to the channel because I I am doing daily Bitcoin price predictions and technical analysis videos every single day. Thank you for watching. Have an amazing rest of your day. Peace out.